Welcome to the CUNY School of Professional Studies virtual celebration for the class of 2020. To the families, friends, alumni, students, faculty, and staff, thank you for joining us to celebrate the accomplishments of our graduating class. To our graduates, you've worked so hard to reach this milestone. We're incredibly proud of you and are excited to honor your achievements today. Throughout this celebration, we encourage you to utilize the comments feature below to leave congratulatory messages for members of the graduating class. You can also post messages on social media using hashtag SPSGrads. And now, let's kick off our celebration. Please welcome Chancellor Felix Matos Rodriguez. Hello, and thank you to your president, to your faculty, and to the entire campus community for inviting me for this celebration. I am thrilled to extend my enthusiastic congratulations to a very special group of graduates, the resilient and persevering class of 2020. Please make some noise. I want to hear you. That's better. Thank you. Like all of you, I wish we could be celebrating your wonderful achievement together in person, in a grand setting, with all the pomp and circumstance that I know you and your families have looked forward to. We will do it as soon as the circumstances allow. For now, though, I'm grateful for this virtual gathering and honored to be part of it. This celebration might be virtual, but the milestone it signifies is very, very real. Even without a, a procession in caps and gowns, Nothing can diminish the power of this moment in your lives and nothing should dampen the pride you feel in getting here. Quite the opposite. I know what it took. I know how you had to rise to the occasion to arrive at this very special moment. It goes without saying what an extraordinary difficult time it's been in New York and on all our CUNY campuses as we struggle to complete the academic year amid almost inconceivable disruption, uncertainty, and anguish. As a community, we have been impacted considerably. For many of us, the crisis has been accompanied by personal loss. On behalf of the entire university, I want to offer sincere condolences to all who are grieving here today. We all have experienced the challenges in our own personal ways, but we have responded collectively and no more so than you, the class of 2020. You have demonstrated a resilience and resolve that inspires me. You stay strong and adapted to the circumstances. I am incredibly proud of you, and despite the uncertain times ahead, I am as optimistic and excited as ever about the futures you will ultimately create for yourselves. I send my heartfelt congratulations to you and to your families who share in your accomplishments, and also to the entire campus community who celebrates today. Take a moment to reflect and to appreciate all that you have done to reach this day. Yes, we have much ahead to overcome, but stay strong, look forward, and know that you have what it takes and more to thrive. Class of 2020, Remember that you're not alone and that CUNY and this chancellor will always have your back. Congratulations. Muchas, muchas felicidades. Thank you for those words, Chancellor. We have a few special guests who have perfected the art of Zoom and recorded messages for you, our graduating class. Congratulations, CUNY Class 2020. Sonia Manzano here. Your atypical journeys to this wonderful moment makes you all the more ready for whatever the post-pandemic world hands you. Go nurses! Balante! Congrats again! The class of 2020, congratulations. You are going to change the world. Working in government, nonprofits, or companies. Working at the local, national or international spheres on issues that matter, healthcare, the economy, communities, and the earth. Each of you, the graduates, 
can move us all to freedom and light. Congratulations again. You are our future. Hey everybody, it's Sean King. I just want to congratulate you on your graduation. Listen, people who don't live in New York have no idea the impact that the pandemic has had on our city, on all of our institutions and schools. But I'm so glad that you are going out into the world to make a major, major difference. Congratulations. I'm rooting for you. I know it's hard. I have your back. If there's ever anything I can do, please let me know, all right? Congratulations again. I know it's a tough time, but I hope you're proud of what you've accomplished. Take care, you all. Good afternoon and congratulations, graduates. The CUNY SPS Foundation Board members are proud of you and your hard work that has brought you here today. Though these are times of struggle and strain, especially for New Yorkers, the achievement of your degrees and certificates will set you ahead on our shared path to healing and rebuilding. You are part of what makes New York, and wherever you may apply your talents, both thriving and resilient. Your personal stories and perseverance inspire us, and we are invested in you and what we know you'll do for yourselves, for your families, for your neighborhoods, and for a better and more just society. We look forward to continued connection and support of you as a growing community of successful School of Professional Studies alumni. Enjoy this virtual way of celebrating together. Now it's time to hear from one of our new graduates. Please join me in welcoming our 2020 student speaker, Lisa Sheridan. Lisa is a true community builder who founded The Kiosk, the school's independent student-run newspaper. And she is a long-standing advocate for students, assuming numerous leadership roles across CUNY. Hi, everybody. I'm so honored and happy to be speaking here today. This is an amazing, weird, and historic moment. We are honoring our graduates in a way that has never been done before. Someday, hopefully sooner than later, we'll be able to gather together in person. But our accomplishments are too significant to hold off acknowledging. And in this volatile time, isn't it great to have something to celebrate? Today, the class of 2020 gets to trade in their superhero capes for this funny looking mortarboard cap. And yes, each of our graduates is a superhero. Just think about it. We have students who are nurses and healthcare workers who every day put their lives on the line. I wish I could hug each one of you in person. Thank you, superheroes. We are all indebted to you. You may not fly faster than a speeding bullet, but I'm sure you all read a chapter or two on a speeding subway. The class of 2020 boldly forged ahead, even through a pandemic. It would take more than that kryptonite virus to slow a CUNY SPS student down. So congratulations. Pat yourselves on the back and raise a glass. The class of 2020 has earned this cap and gown. Now, let's take a moment to thank the people who got us here. Our professors, the administration, and our families. Special shout out to you, Dean Magulescu. You had a prescient vision that assured our academic rigor continued seamlessly through this pandemic. The rest of the Q universe had to quickly catch up to the digital procedures you had in place from go. Thank you for your leadership and your foresight. Like many of you, my path to graduation has not been a straight line. I took the scenic route. By returning to college at CUNY SPS, I learned two of life's most basic skills, the art of self-advocating and the importance of staying curious. I came to SPS after an extended period of unemployment. I'd been working as a fashion designer for over 20 years. For a long time, I was able to advance professionally without a degree, but times changed and the job market became more competitive. Suddenly, my lack of a degree became a roadblock. It was now necessary for me to earn that piece of paper. 
As a single mom who needed to continue working while going to school, I knew that online school would be the only option for me. It didn't take long for me to find CUNY SPS. It was affordable and it was nationally ranked. But to my great dismay, when I applied, my application was rejected. That rejection stung like a slap. I was shocked, although I shouldn't have been. Back when I was a young college student, I transferred from art student at Hunter to fashion student at FIT. Due to some short-sighted sloppy follow-through, I never officially withdrew from those classes at Hunter. And that left some nasty zeros on my transcript. Hurt my GPA pretty badly, but I wrote back to the admissions office and I asked them why my application had been rejected. They gave me a host of reasons, not just my GPA, but I was told I could appeal the decision. And thus, I was on a mission to prove my worthiness to be a student at CUNY SBS. You can just bet I did my homework too. I prepared a spreadsheet showing what my GPA would be had I officially withdrawn from those classes. I paid a premium to the college board to pull my old ACT and SATs from their archives. I researched to find the ratio that could translate those old scores into current day scores. My essay got a reboot. When I returned to the admissions office, I hand delivered a thick file of these documents. I will always remember the shocked look on the admissions officer's face when I hand delivered that supersized pile of papers. But my hard work paid off. The decision was reversed. I was admitted on academic probation. Now, I was determined to prove to the admissions office that their trust in me had not been misplaced. I worked hard and I made good grades. Today, I am graduating with honors. In even better news, the, the registrar's office has adopted a new policy where they look at student applications in a much more holistic manner. Now, GPA and transcripts are reviewed with the student's personal history. Thank you, Associate Dean Jennifer Grace Lee for this initiative. But what if I accepted that first no? Well, I wouldn't have been able to serve on the student government or the governing council. There wouldn't have been a team forged to launch the kiosk. And I wouldn't be standing here today. I wouldn't have met all those amazing classmates and professors. There would have been so many dreams foiled if I just didn't use that all powerful why. My tenure at SPS has been so much more than just collecting that piece of paper. At SPS, I also picked up another great college takeaway. Stay curious. In my professional life and as a mom, I was convinced that I had to have all the answers. This notion was a terrible burden to me and it stunted my curiosity. College showed me that it was okay not to have all the answers and to ask questions and, and to be open to new solutions. This realization was incredibly liberating and it helped me to start thinking in a new way. I learned to treasure downtime because it gave me the space to reflect and ponder. I began to think more deeply and creatively. 41 years after my high school graduation, I'm collecting the diploma that proves I earned my BA. As many of my friends are cashing in their 401ks and getting ready to retire, I'm starting over as a writer. Fellow students know that it is never too late. With the rapidly changing workforce, a commitment to ongoing learning is vital. 
We all have the agency to redefine ourselves. We all have the agency to redefine ourselves throughout our lives, and we will likely need to. I owe CUNY SPS a great debt of gratitude for showing me that learning is a lifelong process. Now, all of us who are graduating become ambassadors for CUNY SPS. So, my beloved classmates, go forth and do great things. Stay curious, self-advocate, dream big, and never be afraid to ask why. It's the surest path to self-discovery. Godspeed, superheroes. Keep dodging the kryptonite and keep soaring. Now, it's my pleasure to introduce to you someone who has led the school with compassion and conviction during this extraordinary time, Dean John Mogulescu. Good afternoon, CUNY SBS students, families, friends, faculty, and distinguished guests. I'm John Mogulescu, Dean of the CUNY School of Professional Studies. This is a truly extraordinary occasion. Normally, I'd be standing at a podium looking out at a sea of your smiling faces, but instead I'm in front of a screen, and if you are watching this, you are too. The COVID-19 crisis has had many repercussions, not least of which is that all CUNY 2020 graduation ceremonies have been postponed until a future date. But all of you have worked too hard to wait until then for us to acknowledge your achievements. Though we will be planning an official commencement ceremony at a time when we can all be together in person, I'm excited to mark this important milestone now with this virtual celebration for the class of 2020. Please let me welcome you all to our truly 21st century event, and I hope you enjoy the festivities we have planned. 